Welcome back to another edition of DC Film Room's Game Film Analysis. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at DC Film Room. In this week's film analysis, we'll break down number 27, J.J. Wilcox. The Cowboys hope that J.J. Wilcox becomes the safety that they've been looking for. Alright guys, we'll start off by looking at J.J. Wilcox versus the run. This play will really show, he's lined up right here, he's being strong safety. This will really show his ability to just hit people. He loves to hit, he has a passion for it, and he's pretty good at it too. Watch the run, he's going to run right here to the left, and Wilcox just throws his helmet right in there. Let's watch the play. Wilcox sees his run, throws his head in. Not afraid to hit. Alright, here's a play from a different view. Watch Wilcox reads the run, throws his helmet in there. This just really shows you that J.J. Wilcox is not afraid to hit, and he loves contact. Alright, on this play you'll see J.J. Wilcox, he's lined up right here. Um, just really take a bad angle on this tackle. Number 84 is going to catch the ball around the backfield um, and go up the sideline. Church just that was a horrible job tackling. He just had a bad game. He missed, I don't know, five, six tackles probably and just didn't really play all that well. So let's just watch the play and we'll see what happens with J.J. Wilcox with this bad angle. McCoy hikes it, throws it at 84, missed tackle by Church, and then Wilcox is way over there. Once that ball is thrown, look where Wilcox is. I know he has this last guy over here, so he's helping him out with him. But he's this far away, so he needs to sprint like crazy. The first down mark is right here. He's probably not going to beat him thanks to Church with, with the missed tackle right there. Now, Wilcox, if he were to sprint, he would have probably met him right around here, pushed him out of bounds. Instead, he jogs over, and he gets about uh, 10 more yards. He's jogging over, jogging over. Bad angle. Didn't pursue that fast. Uh, not sure what his problem was here. But just showing you that he does take some bad angles still. Alright, so I know J.J. Wilcox is a safety. And, you know, he's like the last resort if there's a wide receiver that goes past the cornerback. Um, he's lined up right here. It's going to be a run play. But he's going to keep on backpedaling and backpedaling. Until he pretty much takes himself out of the play because he's 30 yards away. So, let's watch the play and see how Wilcox reacts. Watch Wilcox. He's backpedaling. And then now he goes forward. Not really his responsibility over there, that's more like the D-line with the linebackers, but his first read-react move is a back step. As you can probably see, that's Church's first move by a safety, Wilcox will too. The linebacker's read step is one step forward. That's just how they read and react. But Wilcox is just going to stay there and just keep on backpedaling. Right here, he should have realized that, you know, it's a run. Those are the Cowboys, the secondary right there pursuing towards the football and here's Wilcox you know um, 15 20 yards away this guy's a you know probably play a little bit closer I know Marinelli uses his his safety really you know far back sometimes like you'll see Wilcox back there about 30 yards away it's crazy it's like he's trying to do like a punt return or something but for this play um, maybe just playing a little bit closer or reacting faster to see that it's gonna be a run all right, and here we got J.J. Wilcox is where he makes his interception. Just a fantastic play by him. Let's go and watch it and see what happens. He's lined up here at safety. Colt McCoy hikes it. Wilcox is reading, back pedals, makes the break, locates the ball, jumps, makes a perfect catch. Great move by Wilcox. All right, let's watch the play from a different position. McCoy keeps his eye on the same guy. Easy read by Wilcox, but a great, fantastic athletic ability at the ball. All right, now watch this play with Wilcox. I'm not sure if this is Marinelli's scheme just to take the safety out of the play, but maybe he's out of position, but he backpedals when he knows it's going to be a run. The uh, running back just shoots right in the middle. It's pretty obvious. You get a fullback, two wide receivers, a, a tight end right here. It's a pretty obvious run play, and I guess that's the way the safeties are. We always leave one way back here to, I guess, field for a punt. So just watch this because, you know, this kind of film you don't get on live TV. So you really don't see Wilcox being 20, 25 yards up the ball. And he's going to backpedal, scoot back more. And look at this. It's a run play. The wide receivers are right here. And Wilcox is waiting to field the punt. 
I am not sure why we play him so far back. Here's the running back. He's running the ball. Um, obvious run play. Here's our whole defense. And then here's Lonely Wilcox to, I guess, I don't know, wait for the flea flicker. I don't know. And then he pursuits in. Yes, he's safety. He's last resort, but you shouldn't be playing 25, 30 yards off the ball. All right, here we got some man coverage ability by Wilcox. He's right here. He's going to man up with this guy right here. Now, this this wide receiver um, was really frustrated because he was wide open. He does this little, you know, five-yard end route, has about a, a two-step, you know, spacer between him and Wilcox, and then Colt McCoy just throws it up to no one um, over here with Jackson, who does like a little fly route. So just watch the play, and you'll see the guy get open. Wilcox has the man. Cuts inside, and then he throws his hand down right there. So watch the route by the wide receiver. Right here, he has the space on J.J. Wilcox. This guy's open, too. Um, he's open. Wilcox should be right here to uh, try to defend that pass. Instead, he got beat. And Colt McCoy already threw the ball, and he's still being covered. So this guy was open. He was open, too. This is why Colt McCoy is a backup you know, quarterback and why he might get benched for RG3 next week. Here's another bad tackling angle by J.J. Wilcox. Um, he had this problem before, back when he was a rookie too. It's been getting a little bit better, but this one, it just, it's pretty bad. So just watch the play, and you'll see where he messes up. He's backpedaling. He's way back here. Okay? Stop backpedaling so much. Um, here's the running back. He's going to shoot the hole right through here, have all this open space. Wilcox needs to be here make the angle right instead he makes a wrong step and takes a bad angle and the running back gets about 10 more yards this way right there takes a bad step shuffles a little bit and then he still would have gotten the first down but with a bad angle if he would have gotten it correctly and not backpedaled so much here's wilcox here's the running back he would have probably tackled them he would have got the first down of course but instead it'll be like right here instead he takes a bad angle and chases him this way for about 10 15 more yards the whole game, not just Wilcox too, but Church, McLean, bad angles, missed tackles, just a bad overall performance by the defense. All right, here's another example of J.J. Wilcox just taking bad angles again. Running back gets the ball, Wilcox shoots in, bad pursuit angle. I'm not sure if he's not fast enough to get there, but he doesn't get the right angle in to make this tackle. The wide receiver blocks this guy out of the way though, but missed tackle of course right here. It's not all J.J. Wilcox's you know, fault, but... Here's the running back, Wilcox, come in there, make the right angle. He would have made the tackle, hopefully, like right here. Too slow getting into the ball, bad pursuit angle. That's, you know, that's what was the problem for, you know, most of this game, not just by him. All right, here's the goal line rushing touchdown by the Redskins running back. Um, we have Wilcox right here. He's playing footsie with the referee before the snap, trying to get in place. The ref is kind of in the way, but Wilcox... Takes another bad angle again. He he actually shoots inside, and the running back takes the ball on the outside. And then, um, you know, Wilcox is not there to make the tackle. Just watch the play. He's moving the ref around a little bit. Ref's going to snap it. Bad angle, and gets caught up. He gets a little frustrated, too. You see him? Slams his fist down. Here's a different view. Now, this is partially Durant's fault, too. But Wilcox needs to be there as a safety. He's not there in time. They score a touchdown. All right, watch Wilcox in this play right here. He has the deep half of the field, and then Church has that half over there. Now, watch the guy with, with uh, Brandon Carr. Now, he's just going to shoot up the field, but Wilcox is around 10 yards from the actual wide receiver. Now, he's the safety. Go ahead and team up with him. There's no one else around you, so you might as well just you know double team the one wide receiver there. Just watch the play and just... It's a little frustrating. Wilcox is a decent player. He has potential to be a lot better. But the guy's firing off. And then here we got Wilcox. Maybe 20 yards away from the wide receiver. I know he's playing, playing a little further back. As the free safety kind of. Um, but he still takes the strong side. Church um, let the guy cross in front of him. This guy was open for a little bit. That's why Colt McCoy threw it. But Wilcox, you can't play 20 yards away from the nearest defender, so. He does have the speed to zoom in there. This was just uh, kind of a poorly thrown ball by Colt McCoy. Just a poorly thrown ball. 
He had him there by a little bit. He shouldn't have to dive like that. It was a good throw. It was thrown a little bit late as there was some, uh, like I said before, a 20-yard separation between Wilcox and the wide receiver. All right, now here's some good coverage by J.J. Wilcox. He's lined up on the outside right here. He's not going to press the wide receiver, but he does stay almost toe-to-toe -to -toe with him the entire time. Who He just fires out a huge sprint down the side of the field. Now, Wilcox is pretty fast, stays with him too. The wide receiver has like a slight step on him, but, you know, Wilcox is there to make a play on the ball if he does throw it. All right, now here's another example of J.J. Wilcox just playing a little bit too far away from the nearest offensive opponent. Uh, watch the matchup with Brandon Carr and Deshaun Jackson. Here's Wilcox over here. Now, right off the bat, we know that Brandon Carr is probably going to get beat as he's playing too close with Deshaun Jackson, who is a much faster wide receiver. He's just going to pretty much burn him across the field. And then Wilcox slowly makes his way over there, but, you know, not in time. And then Jackson gets that 45-yard reception. Watch him fire up the line. Brandon Carr just can't really keep up. And then Wilcox is just playing a little bit too far away there. Now, as soon as he sees that Brandon Carr is beat right here, because Colt McCoy sees it, Wilcox needs to be right here pretty much because then he probably wouldn't have thrown it or he could have made a play on the ball, swatted, picked the ball off, something like that. Instead, Wilcox is way over here and he takes this angle going this way instead of firing in right here. Just playing not really out of position, but really conservative at that safety spot by being pretty far away. Just playing very far back. Maybe that's in Marinelli's scheme or Wilcox just wasn't there in time. But huge reception by Jackson there. All right, now here's the fourth quarter scrambling touchdown that Colt McCoy got. It's tied 10 to 10 in the fourth quarter. Um, here's here's Wilcox right here. Now it's the linebacker's responsibility to fill the holes correctly, but the safeties need to be there to help him out, gang tackle, and to make up for those missed holes. Wilcox does not read the play fast enough, makes the tackle, but it's past the white line. Watch Wilcox, a little slow on the reading. Now right here. Wilcox was just, you know, playing back, playing this deep zone right here. Um, he needs to fill in correctly, make the tackle, be there in time, and it would have been fourth and three, probably. Instead, he's slow getting there, and touchdown for Colt McCoy. All right, here's the same play from a different view. You got Melton there at the one technique, actually. Now, watch Rolando McLean. He gets blocked out by Reed, the tight end. And then Melton gets, just gets pushed out of the way, and it's a really easy read for uh, Colt McCoy. Shoot right in here, huge hole, and then Wilcox does not fill in time. So with, you know, Rolando McLean getting blocked, I would probably put this blame on Wilcox. He needs to be there a lot faster. All right, now here's actually a good tackling angle done by J.J. Wilcox. I know like the last 10 clips I showed were some bad stuff with Wilcox. He had that one pick, but he still needs a lot of improvement, you know, up front especially with his pursuit angles, but this one's pretty good. The guy still gets around five yards, but he's going to run the ball this way, and then Wilcox picks it up and does a good job at tackling him. He gets the handoff. Wilcox shoots in there. Excellent read, though. Good angle. There's the running back. No one blocks him, of course, but good job making an open field tackle. All right, here's the last clip that I'll show, but it's one of Wilcox's best moves besides the interception. He's lined up right here. It's an overtime third and three, and this great tackle by Wilcox prevented them from getting a first down, which probably you know would have led to an actual touchdown. They did get the field goal, but it gave our offense a better chance of coming back to that, which of course we still lost, but just a great stop by uh, Wilcox right here. He's going to read the play, get to the flats, and then make the tackle and prevent the first down. Watch Wilcox reach the quarterback. Follows the guy to the outside. That's probably still his zone, though, or his guy, but he still makes a great tackle and prevents the first down. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next week as I break down Week 9's matchup versus the Arizona Cardinals.